Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. So if you're watching this video, chances are you're interested in film photography and at some point, you must have encountered the expired film aesthetic. Actually, scratch that. If you've used apps like Instagram or Visco, then you must have encountered it. Many of the digital filters in those applications try to mimic the look of old photos, typically filmic looks with lots of grain, color shifts, and dust and scratches. The funny thing though is that film photos don't have to look like that at all. If taken with a capable camera, lens, fresh film stock, then scanned properly, film photos can arguably have the same qualities as photos taken by current digital cameras. So are these digital filters really just a misrepresentation of the aesthetics of film that's fueled by nostalgia? Maybe. But I am not here to judge digital filters. Actually, this video is about creating that same look, but on real film. So if you're interested in that, then stick around and let's dive into the world of expired film photography. So what's with all the fuzz about shooting with expired film? Well, based on my observation and personal experience, I would say there's a few things. The first one is nostalgia. Probably the most common reason is the look of the photos that you can get when shooting with expired film. Much like the digital filters I mentioned before, expired film can render photos with varying degrees of grain and color shifts. I think part of this comes from a desire to be part of a bygone era which many of us were never even a part of. And while this can be achieved through digital means, some of us would like to take that extra step in favor of authenticity. You see, unlike digital filters, the effects you get with expired film are embedded in a tangible object. And to some, this is more authentic than simply slapping a filter onto an image. Now, perhaps there's a bit of elitism involved in here, but I think it's more about the idea of uniqueness. The same digital filter will have the same effect on multiple images, whereas the effect of expired film can be seen as unique to that one image you took, and it might never even be replicated again. Which brings me to my next point, unpredictability. Not being too technical about this, but film contains light sensitive materials and chemical compounds that allow us to record an image on a piece of celluloid. Now these chemicals deteriorate over time and the more damage these materials accrue, the more degraded your image becomes. You can slow this process of deterioration however by storing your film in a cold and dry place, which is why it's a good idea to store your unused film in a fridge or a freezer. Back in 2018, my friends told me about this camera store here in Calgary which sells expired film for dirt cheap. I got two rolls of Konica Centuria 200 which expired in 2005 for a dollar each. Now the store just had the films lying around on the counter exposed to the elements so needless to say the films were quite deteriorated and the photos that I got from using them had an extreme magenta shift. In contrast, I recently got a hold of a few rolls of Kodakolor VR1000 that expired in 1985. The photos I got from the first roll I shot do show the film's age, however, they were definitely in a way better shape than the Konica Centuria, which means they were most likely stored in better conditions. The unpredictability of not knowing what effects you'll get when shooting a roll of expired film can be quite exciting. There's this element of surprise and anticipation, which is an experience I'd like to have every so often. I've heard of horrible stories though, like the film just falling apart during development, which I hope to never experience because I don't want to be that guy who ends up destroying my local film lab's equipment. So my next point was supposed to be cost because in theory, you could reduce your film cost by shooting with expired film. But lately, some expired films, especially as they get rarer, have become more expensive than fresh ones, so I can't really say that you're saving money by shooting with expired film. So 
So my last point is that shooting with expired film can enable you to try film stocks that are no longer in production. Sure, the experience is probably not going to be the same if the films were fresh, however, trying those film stocks firsthand can still be an experience that you might be missing out on. And I'm a proponent of trying everything at least once, as long as they're not harmful. Back in April, I hung out with my friends outdoors during the Easter long weekend and decided to bring one roll of Kodakolor VR1000 to test. The film expired before I was even born, but the results I got were still surprisingly good. If you're wondering how to properly expose expired color negative film, well the consensus is to simply reduce the ISO sensitivity of the film by one stop per decade since its expiry date. For example, an ISO 200 film that expired in 2010 should be shot at ISO 100 in 2020. Since the film I got had an ISO sensitivity of 1000 and expired in 1985, I had to add around 3.5 stops of light to compensate its reduced sensitivity. So instead of shooting at ISO 1000, I aimed to shoot at ISO 100. You can do this by switching your camera or light meter's ISO dial to the required ISO, or if your camera has exposure compensation, then you can use that to add the required stops. For this shoot, I use my Contax TVS which automatically reads the film ISO through its DX code, so I just added 3 and a third stop of exposure compensation. I should have probably used 3 and 2 thirds stops though just to err on overexposure, but <laughs> here are some of my results. Overall, I'm quite happy with the results I got shooting with this 36-year-old expired film. The photos really have this old vibe to them, looking rough with lots of grain and subtle magenta color shift. To be fair, even if the photos ended up with a horrible color shift like my experience shooting with an expired roll of Konica Centuria, I would probably still be happy with the results. Why? Because that's part of the whole deal in the first place. The unpredictability, the aesthetic… I think I would only really be disappointed if the photos were all blank. But I wonder if there's still something out there that could emulate this experience in a more controlled manner with less risk and unpredictability? Well, I think I might just have the answer. On that same day I shot this roll of expired Coda Collar VR1000, I also shot a roll of Double Film Bubblegum 400. I would like to do a more in-depth review of this film, but basically, it's a roll of Kodak Ultramax 400 that's been pre-fogged to have the sweet pinkish pastel tones. As you can see from these examples of photos I took with this film, they can kind of have the look of expired film. But the best part is you get this peace of mind knowing that you're guaranteed to have photos in the end. If my body is like this, you're yeah, you, you have to be turned this way, yeah. Yeah, to the foot I'm sideways and you're front. And then you're that way. But behind him. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, but turn her in this way. So yes, and then like put your head on her. Exactly. Okay? Yeah, like And then that. look that way. Wow, like, to the that's tree. like a yeah. strong position. Woo! Double Film makes a few more tinted films, some of which have more randomness in its results if you're feeling that unpredictability. So, with the existence of tinted films like Double Film Bubblegum, is shooting with expired film still worth all the trouble? Personally, I would say yes. Maybe I've romanticized the idea of shooting with expired film, but to me, it's all about that unique experience it offers. The resulting photos sort of just come secondary to the whole experience. The anticipation. It's that risky feeling you get from pursuing something while knowing full well that you might not even get anything out of it. It's like an exercise in letting go of control and allowing things to serendipitously happen to you. And when you see the results, it can give you this triumphant feeling that, despite it all, you succeeded. So if you ever get the chance of shooting expired film, I would say try it. And that's it! Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more visual arts related content. Again, I am Bon, and perhaps I'll see you all again in the next video. Cheers. The process where whoever was around you when you were attacking. Show me your camera. This was your was this one was yours? Yeah, that was my first camera. Which one? This one. And I gave it like sold it to her yeah. <laughs> for cheaper. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>